Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2022. I am so excited, the full party is finally back. We're gonna be going around trying all the new spooky snacks, checking out the awesome entertainment additions that they added this year, including Maxi dressed up as Powerline, and then don't forget we got the Boo To You Parade, and we're also gonna be doing a special Not So Spooky Spectacular Firework Dessert Party. I'm so excited. Anywho's, let's go boo this. Here is the map for this year's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And look, it even says, let's boo this. I am so excited for it to be back. I'm so excited for the Boo To You Parade and the fireworks. And there's so many awesome treats. And we're going to try to cover everything. I'm going to try to give you guys like an ultimate guide to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. If you're not familiar with what Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is, it's basically a separate ticketed event where they close down the park and it's from 7 p.m. till midnight and everything gets all not so spooky. They have trick or treat locations, super rare character meet and greets, ride overlays, so like Space Mountain will turn like pitch black and there'll be live actors inside Pirates of the Caribbean. And uh, tickets are from anywhere from 100 to 150 depending on the night, but it is is such a good time and I am so happy that it's back like I am so pumped for this there are gonna be multiple treats all throughout the park like the gravedigger milkshake worms and dirt funnel cake and also trick-or-treat locations with free candy and don't forget all of the entertainment there's tons of shows a special fireworks uh, oh the boot to you parade you can't go wrong with that the headless horsemen it's a really really big deal and I'm just so excited to be here tonight on top of all that, we're going to be doing the special Not So Scary Spooktacular Firework Dessert Party. And this is a special thing just for tonight. And it also costs an additional $115. But it's a buffet of different Halloween themed desserts. And it's all you care to enjoy. Beer, wine, and it's really awesome. And you have reserved viewing for fireworks. So I'm very excited to show you guys that and everything else that you get to do during the party. Even though the party doesn't start till 7, when you do buy a ticket, you get to come in as early as 5 o'clock and they'll give you a little wristband. And then at 7 o'clock, they're going to start asking everyone that doesn't have a wristband to leave. And it's going to be low wait times and, like I said, lots of cool food and spooky things. I mean, it's the Halloween season. Another really cool thing about coming to the party is you get to dress up and actually go trick-or-treating in the Magic Kingdom. Now, it's August right now, so it is really, really hot out, so I decided not to dress up. Instead, I just wore a nice little purple Roosevelt. It's actually a Black Panther purple Roosevelt, and I feel like it's, I, I think it's fitting. I think it looks good. A lot of people will tell you their favorite thing to do during the party is meet the rare characters because there are a lot of rare characters that you can only meet during the party. One of them being Jack and Sally and it's about an hour and a half before the party starts and they're actually meeting inside Town Square Theater. Let me show you the line. Now this is people just waiting to meet them. It's about four hours long at this point. There's no set list of characters that you're going to be able to meet. It's kind of all just a mystery. On the map, they have special locations that are marked that will tell you, hey, there's a special character meet and greet here. But this one is probably the most popular one. Right here is the line. And look at the little sign they have out front here. That would be so cool to see. Now, like I said, people are going to be waiting. They've been waiting since 4 o'clock, right? I would say like 4 o'clock. And look at that. Lots of people. <laughs> As you can tell, the line to meet Jack and Sally is super long. So a little bit of a pro tip, if you do want to meet the characters, line up before the party starts because it's going to give you more time to enjoy the party. You know what I mean? I'd rather wait in line now before the party starts than wait during the party and just kind of map out which characters you want. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you guys all the characters and kind of give you, like I said, that little guide, a little help. Like I said before, people like to dress up for the party. And look at this fedorable fella right here. Cody, I am honored. With the Roosevelt tux, the hat, we're twins. We are. I'm honored. Hats this is the best. Look at, oh wow. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah, this is, the, this is such a great thing. <laughs> 
Honestly, I'm a little teared up by that. Cody, thank you so much. It is such a great honor or such a great feeling knowing that people will dress up like you and I can't even believe it's like, it's, it's real life. Like honestly, I really can't believe that that's real life, but seriously, it's it, that might have made my night. And there might be more people here too. I know there was a lot of people that have dressed up before, but being able to just run into somebody who looks like you, it's such an unbelievably amazing feeling and I'm so blessed. Now we're going to start off the night and head to our first trick-or-treat location. We've got our band on and it's right this way, right this way to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Another really fun tip I want to share with you guys, bring a bigger bag if you want to. They're going to give us a little like trick-or-treat bag, but you can bring like a backpack and they'll fill it in. And at the end of the night, they don't go light. Like they will just like give out all the candy in the world. There's some times where I'd walk out with enough candy to last me two years. Like they go heavy, especially at the end of the night. This is where they actually start checking your wristbands to make sure you have a ticket for the party tonight. And this is, like I said, is the first trick or treat spot. And I'm so excited. Thanks, We're making our way through. It's time. It's, it's, it's time. I love this. Oh, but here comes our bag. I'm getting so excited. I can't wait for all the music to come on. Oh, this is, I've been waiting all year for this. I've been waiting actually like three years for this. Oh, there it is. Happy Halloween, darling! Let's boo this! <laughs> Trick or treat! Hello! Hello. Oh, some M&M's! Very fancy! Happy Halloween! <laughs> First trick or treat location of the night, a whole bag of M&Ms. And we're not just limited to this. If I wanted to, I can go back and get another bag of M&Ms and another and another. All the treat locations, you can just keep going and going and going and going. There's no cap, no cap at all. Oh my Lord, this is something new this year. Look at these photo opportunities. The legend of Sleepy Hollow, beware, take care, he rides alone. Oh, I, I gotta get a photo with this. And I can't wait to see the Headless Horseman. Halloween parties are always best when you're with a group of friends. You get to actually go and explore around. And also group costumes are the best. But like I said, a little too hot in August. But we might come back and actually do like a group costume. I think that would be fun. We've got ourselves a fun little spooky crew tonight for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. You guys excited? Yeah? yeah? yeah. You have your Sanderson sisters. I know. Oh yeah, you guys, look at you. Yeah, we got Jackie, Super Enthused, Serena Ray, LBV TV, Promise Hope. Chris, Travis, everyone's all here. The gang's all here. <laughs> the gang's all here. <laughs> I've ran into some more friends, and this is Chaz. Chaz, Courtney, and Courtney is dressed like Gracie. Look at her little collar even says Gracie. Guys, this is a really big deal. I cried. I actually cried when I first ran into them. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Chaz. You guys. The, the, you guys are really making my day here. Seriously, thank you so much. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> okay, I could just go home right now. Like that was the highlight of the night for me. Somebody dressed up as Gracie and me together. Honestly, I really couldn't even control my emotions there because that was absolutely probably one of the greatest moments of my life and I am just so happy. So thank you guys so much for that. Unbelievably amazing. All right, the party has begun. I'm gonna actually go try to find some of the special treats that they offer for the party itself. Maybe do some trick or treating and, uh, you know, just boo this. You kind of just walk into a little treat location. Welcome, welcome, happy Halloween. Oh, I got a bonus, a bonus. Some Starburst in there. Doubled. <laughs> yes. Look at that, a nice big handful, some Starburst, a little bit of everything. And oh my lord, the queen is here! Look at her strutting in here. Oh, look at that. So you can meet the queen right there, and then you can come meet Alice and the Mad Hatter right next to her. Take a look at that, right next to the teacups. Alice, the Mad Hatter, and the queen and then also the teacups have a ride overlay but we're gonna do that later because you want to do that at night because the lights change they add some fog and also my main man right here there he is andy you know it <laughs> 
from my previous experiences coming to the party, usually there's not as many people down in Storybrooke Circus for the start of it. And they do have some treat locations. They have a special little uh, dance party. And then they also have characters down here. I think, oh look, Minnie and Donald, uh, Minnie and Donald and Dizzy are over here. Oh, nice. Minnie, Donald, and Disney. <laughs> Minnie. <laughs> Wait, you can Minnie, meet Walt Disney? Yeah, you can meet Walt Disney tonight. Minnie, Donald, and Daisy. Yes. <laughs> so if you make your way down here to Storybook Circus, you can meet Minnie, Daisy, Donald, and Goofy basically all next to each other. I think this is centrally probably the most characters you'll meet uh, at the party itself, all in like one spot. Oh, and here he comes right now. Our mateys. Thank you, Goof. I love the Goof so much. Look at him just strutting away. Doing his thing. His pirate life. <laughs> All right, Goofy was super fun, and I love just seeing him walk around, but I'm pretty sure I see Winnie the Pooh and friends, and those are my mom's favorite characters, so we have to go say hi to them. Look at this. We've got Piglet. Tigger? Oh, Tigger's a uh, Goofy. I mean, Tigger's a pirate like Goofy. Oh, and then little Winnie the Pooh. This is so cool. Look at them, they're actually switching out, but it's kind of cool just seeing them walking about, right? Oh, hi, Winnie. My mom says hello. <laughs> it's my mom's favorite character. Oh, my lord, but look at Eeyore walking out by himself. <laughs> Oh, he's walking by himself. I love it so much. Perfect. That is just how Eeyore would do things, too. The lines to meet the characters can get uh, definitely long. I mean, not as long as Jack and Sally, but I'm going to show you guys some of them from the outside. Maybe if we have time, we might be able to hop in. I would love to meet some of the characters, but like I said, I kind of want to show off a little bit of everything tonight. I plan on definitely coming back, and uh, maybe those nights I can maybe take more time and go meet the characters. Now I do want to, like I said, I want to get some of the exclusive snacks that they have to offer. Here it is. Binksy's Pastry Tail, $5.79, a cat tail drizzled with dark chocolate and topped with Binks chocolate piece. And then of course the cold witch's brew coffee. French vanilla cold brew with pumpkin spice foam topped with Halloween sprinkles. They both sound amazing. I think I'll get them both. Alright, here it is. We've got Binks's cattail. Now, I don't think this is a cattail. In fact, I think this is a bear claw. I think this is a bear claw from over in Frontierland, and I think they had some technical difficulties, so they actually swapped it out. So, I guess we can call it Binx's bear claw. And then here is the cold brew, and I asked for extra sprinkles, but look at the orange cream foam on top. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm very excited to dive into it and give it a go, especially the coffee. I didn't grab a straw, so I'm probably going to have a foamy mustache here, but I'm excited for it. Oh, actually, not bad at all. It's actually a really thick, thick foam. It's very thick. Kind of tastes, tastes like candy corn on top. I like it. Strong coffee. Very strong coffee. Maybe I have to eat a little bit. Oh, hello. How are you? Happy Halloween. Oh, thank you. Now it's time for a little Binksy, and I love Binks. I mean, Hocus Pocus is one of my all-time favorite movies, and I can't wait to see the Hocus Pocus show here tonight. It might be something different, though, because, you know, Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out, so they might have added some new things to the show, and I'm excited for that. I might be wrong about this, but, like, the picture looked like a tail. So, I mean, I don't know, but it does look like Wendell's bear claw. Just now it's Binks's bear claw, and we can give it a go. Mm. This would be so good if it was like hot and warm, but it's a little bit dry. But I think all of the treats that I usually get from all the other regular tails, it all is like that. But still a little fun little snack, and it goes well with coffee. I, I, I got it just for Binks, though. Like, that's the main reason. The cold brew, though, I would get this definitely again. And it has the, the foam, like I said before, kind of candy corn, but much more orange now. Definitely. And I don't know if this is only available just for the party, but it might be available all the time, though. So that'd be nice. I'd like to get this as I'm coming around Magic Kingdom. A little cold brew stop. Since we're actually over here, I think maybe we'll go and ride the teacups. This is one of the rides that have a Halloween overlay. A spooky overlay. 
it is a little spooky. They turn on Halloween music, some fog, some lighting. It's really fun, actually. I really hope we get the Monster Bash. That's my favorite ride. That's like my favorite Halloween song. We'll see. Oh, Beetlejuice. Is this Beetlejuice? I think it's Nightmare Before Christmas, maybe. We're not gonna be spinning crazy. No, There's yes two. We are. No, 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 we're not. I'm not riding with her, guys. No, no guys, no. <laughs> There's two types of people in this world: the ones that spin like crazy, and the other ones that take it nice and easy. You're a spinner. Oh, oh. <laughs> I feel betrayed. I'm with the spinner. <laughs> I don't want to be with the spinner. No, no, I don't. Look at this. Oh, look at all the fog. Look at all this fog. I know. I know this is like very spooky right now. Oh. Oh, what music is this? Ah, oh, no, 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 take it easy. No, look, I'm, I'm like holding it back. No. No. No, no. No, no, no. No. I quit. I quit. This is not fun. You're going to get out so dizzy. No, no, no. The music is really getting to me right now. Guys, look away! Look away! How are you feeling, Dave? I'm not. I'm not liking this. Why? You look like a scared puppy right now. I got the spins real bad. I need my bag. I know my bag because it has a duck in it. See, my bag has a little ducky in it that looks like me, and then it also has a really awesome little patch. These are all the trick or treat things I got. Tactical operations, Cambridge Police. <laughs> The teacups is such a fun ride for the Halloween uh, layover. The song, the music is great, the lighting, the fog. I just didn't like going fast. I don't like spinning. <laughs> Serena, though, she's all about the spinning. But now, I think we're going to actually make our way down to Main Street, try to see if we can find a space for the uh, Boo To You break. I'm so excited to actually sing Boo To You. Like, Boo To You. you yeah, I, oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Another really awesome treat that they have is the Poison Apple Milkshake. Look at this. Comes with that gigantic poison apple marshmallow, and it's over at Annie Gravity's. Yeah, do you like it? It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> well, maybe I might have to get it. Well, thank you guys. Happy Halloween. Very much. Happy Halloween. Just like I said before, attention, space travelers. Tonight's flights will soar to a high-energy soundtrack through complete darkness, and it's called Deep Space Mountain. Deep Space Mountain. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I don't think we have time to ride Deep Space Mountain right now, but we will do it later on. Now I want to go check out the Tomorrowland dance party. I want to see Mike, Mike Wazowski and Sully. I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite things too. <laughs> this night just keeps on getting better and better. Mike Wazowski! We're halfway there! Whoa! Look at Mike Wazowski! Oh. He's on vacation! He's on vacation! Oh! Look, it's a 2319! Walk 500 miles! Oh, this is too good! <laughs> <laughs> that dance party is always so much fun. Mike Wazowski is a star. What a star. Also over in Tomorrowland, you can meet Elvis Stitch. Look at this. Elvis Stitch. Look at you, good sir. Oh, sorry. Nice. I'm following the king. 
Now I think we're actually going to head over and see if we can get a spot for the first parade. But I'm a little worried because it is raining a little bit, so they might cancel it. And if not, we're going to go and check in for our special dessert party and then catch the second parade. So that's the plan. Hopefully, hopefully things work out well. One of my favorite things about the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is how like mysterious and creepy they make Main Street USA look, especially with the pumpkins flicker in here. Look at that. Look at all of these pretty lights right here. That is so cool. Some ghoulish weather. We must cancel our 9:15 performance of Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade once again. Due to inclement weather and for the safety of our performers, our 915 performance of Mickey's Boot to You Halloween Parade has been canceled. Well, you heard it there, folks. The 915 parade is canceled, but it's okay because we still have another parade that we're going to be able to catch and hopefully the rain will be gone. I checked the forecast and it looks good and we're going to be able to see Power Line 2. So now we're going to go check in for our firework dessert party. Look at all the ghoulish lighting they have, green and purple. We're all checked in and we're gonna get another wristband. Two wristbands tonight. Fancy, we got an orange one. Oh, I like this one. This is really nice because it actually is still Halloween colors. And then we're gonna head on in. Here is a look at all the desserts. Now this is all you care to enjoy. They have pistachio crunch bars, cookies and cream cheesecake mousse, dark chocolate cookies over here. Then they've got some chocolate covered strawberries. They've got some pumpkin toffee cupcakes, devil chocolate pudding, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna be eating a lot of stuff. Firehouse donuts. Ooh, they got the regular stuff here too. They got the butterscotch pudding and caramel popcorn. I love this stuff. That is so good. They've got some assorted fruit over here. They've got some chocolate cake bites back here. Some vanilla cake bites, chocolate and vanilla. Uh, nice assortment of cheese and bread. A little bit of everything. Some more pumpkin toffee. There's a lot of good stuff. Oh, and we actually have some hot stuff too. What is the hot stuff? They are caramel apple crepes. Really caramel really apple crepes. You got it. Oh my lord. I like this. <laughs> oh. On top of all the desserts and the crepes, they have a nice collection of different drinks that's all you care to enjoy. Beer, wine, and even some really specialty like non-alcoholic drinks and coffee. So we're gonna be indulging in quite a bit. Look at this, we got some Chardonnay, some red wine, some Moscato, a lot of good stuff, some Bud Light, gotta get the Bud Light Lager, the Blue Moon, but my favorite is that they have them already pre-poured in little fancy glasses, so you just come up and grab and go. I think I'm gonna take a Bud Light, but I want the Blue Moon because it's got an orange in it. Maybe I'll take two, I'll come back for you. A little Bud Light during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Can't go wrong with that. All right, now it's time to dive into all the desserts. I'm really, really intrigued by this crepe and also by the pumpkin cupcake. I mean, a lot of it does look like the regular like dessert party stuff, but they did add in a couple of twists and I like that. It's very condensed in here now because of the rain so they moved all the tables uh, underneath like the coverage so we're gonna try all the stacks kind of in a speed round a little pistachio to start off with that's amazing and now we're gonna dive into the specialty crepe this crepe looks so good and they said it's the best thing here and I kind of already agree and I haven't even tasted it yet I haven't even taken a bite. All right, here we go. Time for the crepe. All right, the crepe might be worth it on its own. All right, now I think we're gonna have a pumpkin cupcake. A little pumpkin. I'm excited. I like pumpkin. I, I'm excited for pumpkin spice lattes. That's the season. I might have a little bit in my beard here, but here's the pumpkin cupcake. And honestly, it's kind of bite-sized, so I'm just gonna go for it, but I think I might make a big mess, so be prepared. I don't even know, oh boy. Oh, that's really good. For the youngings, they've got some sparkling cider here. 
and like I said, a big variety of different juices too. A little bit of everything. Some strawberry lemonade, some passion fruit. Ooh, they got pog juice. All you care to enjoy pog juice? They've got lemonade, hot tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Everything you need for a dessert party. Right now, before the fireworks even start, and if the fireworks are gonna start, I do wanna say I'm very happy that I got this dessert party. To me, it is 100% worth it because it is a downpour outside, and we're just kinda nestled in here in a nice little spooky setting with all we care to enjoy, drinks and desserts, and I kinda like that. Like, that is, that's a really, really solid benefit right now, at the moment, just because of the rain. I actually stepped out because I wanted to tell you guys that because it's like really loud in there But this is the current situation outside like it is a downpour Everyone's kind of like tucked in here got some lightning and we kind of just have like a designated little like rest area We could just walk right in. Hi. How are you? Hi <laughs> I'm really trying to make sure I hit that hundred and twenty dollar price tag You know what I mean? So here's my second beer. I switched over to the blue moon and I gotta say, my favorite dessert is between the pistachio crunch, the pumpkin, and the crepe. Oh, oh you know what? Take it all away. The crepe win, number one. Crepe, totally worth it. Yeah, crepe, totally worth it. Crepe was amazing. Serena told me that her favorite is this cookie right here. This is like a, a dark chocolate cookie, but it's got the texture of a brownie. It's super thick. Yeah, it's super thick, but it kind of reminds me of Corella de Vell, doesn't it? Yeah, because you got the spots and everything. So maybe I might like this. Maybe this might trump the uh, the uh, crepe. We'll give it a go. Ooh. Crepe is way better. They have a cookie decorating like little stand here. And me and Serena are going to have a little cookie contest, kind of like a, a jack-o'-lantern contest. And we gotta decorate it with all the, the bells and whistles, so. I'm gonna put my camera down because I'm gonna try to be precise. Oh, you think you're... All right, I was trying to make a creepy clown and it actually was doing pretty well until I decided to put the sprinkles on it. But you can kind of see it. It's a little creepy clown, but this is my cookie. And then I'm gonna show you Serena's cookie and you be the judge. You let me know. Are you kidding me? Are you doing Mike Wazowski? So you knew! You knew! Are you? <laughs> I feel like you're Mike Wazowski me. Well, that was the easiest one. That's what I looked up to make sure. She cheated. She I looked did. it up. No, I didn't. Oh, oh she did. Oh, look at it. Hey, it is Jonathan. <laughs> Which cookie do you like? You'll be yeah, the you be the judge. Which cookie? Clown or do you like Which one? Yours. A mine? <laughs> I ran into another friend and look at this you look adorable I love it the shirt the hat everything thank you so much and we actually met earlier so I'm so excited that I got to see you tonight thank you so much happy Halloween well thank you Jonathan made me a cookie I love it I would vote for your cookie since you voted for my cookie this one's fantastic you vote for his cookie too, right? He's the cookie, you're the cookie winner. The cookie winner of the day. <laughs> I do want to point out, if you plan on, you know, getting a lot of the drinks, they do stop serving the drinks as soon as the fireworks start. Uh, but they do have like the uh, desserts and other things available afterwards. I mean, until it's gone. So I might just grab another drink and then get a coffee when I'm about to leave because we still have a lot more to do even after the fireworks. We still got the parade, the Hocus Pocus show, a lot of good stuff. We are directly underneath where Tinkerbell would fly at us. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? We are in Tinkerbell's, Tinkerbell's path. The fireworks are gonna begin any moment now, and I've got two beers lined up. I'm ready to go.
and that wasn't the grand finale? fireworks were amazing and I'm sorry if some of it went out of focus I'll try to cut out as much as possible so you might actually not see any of it but it was like sensory overload the only thing is is when doing the dessert party I feel like the the music isn't played loud enough like I really couldn't hear Jack or anything like that but the view was so much better because you kind of seen all of them you know what I mean it was so good but now we need to head down to Main Street because we're gonna go see Powerline well Maxi dressed up as Powerline and this is this is a goal. This is this is the main reason I wanted to come. I mean, I wanted to come regardless, but this right here was a game changer. What is that? is complete did you see that did you see max dressed up as power line stand out that was phenomenal and all of his 90s friends i had the perfect spot this this whole entire night has been amazing it's been a rainstorm but let me tell you something i'm having the best night of my life this has been by far so much fun and it's gonna keep going we've got boo to you next and we're gonna stay right here we're gonna watch the boo to you parade it's happening so oh! <laughs> oh, straight up, yeah. Uh, boop, 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 boop,
beautiful. gonna try to rush over to catch the only showing of the Hocus Pocus show because it's gotten rained out all day I did hear that it started for five minutes and then had to stop due to the lightning in the area so we're gonna see if we can catch the last show I mean I hope we can do it because then that way we kind of caught all the shows really except for the dance parties we don't count those but I mean the big ones you know what I mean the fireworks the parade power line well maxi power line and then the show itself the current wicked weather conditions have caused this performance of Hocus Pocus Villain Spelltacular to be delayed. Oh! Once again, the curse has taken a hold of our All Hallows Eve. But fear not, something magical shall still happen here tonight. Now, prepare thyself for a spellbinding treat that is filled with a bit of Hocus Pocus. Oh my god!
we ever and again. Captain Hawk! party's over. The only thing I have to say is I wish these parties would go on longer. I feel like it's really almost impossible to get everything you want to get done. The rain set us back a little bit. I mean, I had high hopes. I really wanted to make a really awesome video for you guys. So to help you guys plan if you wanted to come out, uh, I know I'm going to come multiple times, but I was really, I was really striving for that for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, overall, I had a great time. I really do enjoy the party. Uh, the dessert party was awesome. It was very very, very like worth it during the rain. You know what I mean? And also, uh, the pit, the tickets for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party actually uh, vary like price wise. So tonight was the most expensive. Disney started making the first night the most expensive because they know. And of course, once you get to Halloween and stuff like that, it's gonna get a little bit higher up there. But there are some nights that are like just a hundred dollars compared to 160 like tonight. And I'm glad that we got to catch a little bit of the show. The show wasn't the full show. It was kind of just like a trim down because of the rain. But uh, we did some trick-or-treating. We had some snacks. We rode one of the rides with an overlay. Got to see all the three shows. Got to see some characters just walking around socializing. And uh, most importantly, we had fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! Also, my bag is definitely a little light today, but I am grateful for the things that I did get, including my M&Ms, my duck, and also uh, my little patch that someone gave me. Look at this. You get a special print. Thank you. Get your print. Get your print. Jackie.